greetings to everyone uh, so today today's class we are going to discuss about welded connection problems okay um, so we all know that from the introduction part what are all the types of welds available and what are all the types of joints available in the welded connections that we have discussed in the welded connection introduction part now let us move on to the problems which are related to welded connections now we should move on to the first problem okay so all the problems whatever we are going to discuss now uh, that should be available in uh, design of steel structures by sk dogel okay so the problem is two plates of 16 mm and 14 mm thickness are to be joined by a groove weld the joint is subjected to subjected to a factored tensile force of 430 kN due to some reasons the effective length of the weld that could be provided as 175 mm only check the safety of the join check the safety of the join if the condition first one is single v groove weld is provided second one is A double v groove weld is provided assume assume the plates to be sharp welded so this is the given data available in the problem okay so they have mentioned that given in the figure okay so see here it is nothing but uh, two plates they are going to join okay as a 16 mm and 14 mm so whenever we are going to choose the size of weld we are going with the uh, less thickness okay uh, thickness of plate by groove weld so groove in, is nothing but it is like this if i am having plate this one plate another one this plate okay now so we have to do the edge preparation like this either v shape here they have mentioned as v shape so that's why uh, one edge of the plate has been provided like this for deep pen penetration okay uh, so then another edge of the plate has been prepared like this so if i'm going to fill the weld it should be fill here okay so double v in the sense it should be like this one plate is to be like this and another plate is to be like this so that if i am going to apply the weld here it is also can get filled and here also it can get filled so if i am going for double double v groove okay now the complete penetration is going to happen okay so the size of weld is equal to the least 
plate thickness I am going to take. So size of weld is equal to least plate thickness I am going to take. Okay, now for double side. If it is single side, then we won't achieve for complete penetration. So the effective throat thickness we are going to take. Okay, so this is related to problem introduction. So let us move on to the problem. So first I will write down the given data. So load they have given us P is equal to 430 kilo Newton. And uh, we are going to take a lesser, di lesser dimension of plate thickness. So T of plate is equal to 14 mm I'm going to choose, okay. Next, <clears throat> restricted, the length of weld is restricted to 175 mm, okay now. If it is, uh, the check the safety of the joint they have asked, okay now. So we are going to find out the uh, strength of weld, okay now, for the length of 175 mm. So if it is with respect to uh, single groove and double V groove, Okay, now, so we are going to find out the strength of weld. If the weld um, value, strength of value is more than this 40, 430 kilonewton means, then it is safe. Okay, if it is lesser than that, okay, now, then uh, the strength is not adequate to handle this load. Okay, that we are going to find out now. So let us move on to the problem. So I'm going to erase this. Now let us move on to the problem. Resolution. So first thing, uh, we have that uh, <coughs> FI value. So FI for steel is always 250 MPA and the FU becomes 410 MPA. Okay. And similarly, gamma M W value is 1.25. If it is sharp fabrication. So this formula, so this value is available in uh, table number 5 of IS 800 2007. Okay. Next, uh, if it is field fabrication. Okay, now then the value is becomes 1.5. So these are also available in uh, IS 800 2007. Now let us move on to the problem. So here the problem we are going to consider with respect to yield strength. Okay, so that we are going to use FI value is 250 Newton per mm square. Now the formula strength of weld PDW is equal to length of weld into effective throat thickness into uh, the normal formula we are going to have as a few divided by uh, root 3 gamma mw sorry gamma mw i will share the screen of formula so in is 800 page number 79 the formula is available okay now fwd is equal to fwn divided by gamma mw whereas fwn is equal to fu by root 3 okay uh, by gamma mw okay so further if i'm going this is only the stress value okay next to what i need now i need the length okay that we have to calculate okay so the stress in the weld is given by fa or q is equal to p divided by uh, tt into lw so whereas fa is equal to calculated normal stress due to axial force q is equal to cs stress and P is equal to force transmitted 
okay and tt is equal to effective throat thickness of weld in mm and lw is equal to effective length of the weld in mm so this is the formula which we are going to use so here one thing we have to consider if i am going to use yield strength then directly i am going to take it as fy so there is no substitution for fu by root 3 okay so this you, we have to remember when we are going to do the problem okay now let us move on to the solution part so here in this problem uh, so yield strength we have taken so with respect to single weak groove the strength of weld pwd is pw pdw is equal to length of weld into effective throat thickness into fy by gamma mw okay uh, so if it is uh, so lw they have given as 175 mm fy we know that 250 newton per mm squared and gamma w is 1.25 for uh, field fabric sorry shop shop fabrication okay Uh, this is from table number five. So now the effective throat thickness we have to calculate. This is here they have mentioned that single V groove. Okay, so single V groove. Uh, so it won't have complete penetration in the member. Okay, so it may have some joints. Okay, a joint ga gap. So that's why we are going to take the effective throat thickness value as five by eight times of thickness of plate. That is th thickness here we are going to choose. The lesser value of plate thickness. So five by eight into fourteen. If I am going to use, we are getting eight point seven five. So if we are going to substitute these values into this formula, we are getting the value of three hundred and three not six point two five kilo newton. So which is lesser than our uh, applied load, which means uh, the plate is going to reach three not six point two five kilo newton load now. at the time itself the weld is going to get failure so the weld is going to get failure so it won't take the load the entire section won't take the load more than 306.25 kilo newton so our uh, given load they have uh, given as 430 kilo newton okay so in order to resist this load the single v groove is not sufficient okay let us move on to the double v groove So now, uh, second one, double V groove. Okay. So yield strength here it is same value. Uh, F Y is equal to two fifty P W same formula we are going to use. Now the section we are going to use as double V groove so that the complete penetration may achieve. Okay. So here the two plates they have connected fourteen mm and sixteen mm. So here the effective throat thickness is becomes the least of these two values. Okay, so fourteen mm is the effective throat thickness, so which is equal to fourteen mm. So now if I am going to apply the va values in the formula, so I am going to get it as Um, LW is one seventy five and effective throat thickness is fourteen and FY is two fifty divided by gamma MW one point two five. So it is getting as four ninety kilo newtons. Four ninety kilo newton. So this value is greater than four thirty kilo newton. So the double V groove section or plate can transfer the load safely. So as per steel design, the joint has to take that is uh, the connection has to take more load when comparing with the member okay then only it can transfer the load safely to all the members so hence it is safe here let us move on to the next problem
So the problem given. Okay, a time member in a dress. A time member in a dress. Girder is two fifty mm by fourteen mm in size. It is welded to a. It is welded to a. Ten mm thick. Gasset plate. Gasset plate. By a fillet weld. By a fillet weld. The overlap. The overlap of the member is three hundred mm. And weld size is six mm. Determine the design strength of the joint. Determine the design strength of the joint. If if the welding is done as done as in shown in figure what is the increase in strength of the joint if welding is done if welding is done all around assume soft welding assume sharp welding so the figure whatever they have given na so one plate has been connected with the gusset plate gusset plate is nothing but the plate which are going to join the members in the truss okay <clears throat> so here the plate breadth of the plate is 250 mm okay and they have mentioned that the overlap is 300 mm so from here to here it is 300 mm okay so this one they have given uh, assume the uh, given so thickness of the plate is 10 mm and thickness of weld tw they have given as the size of weld okay s of double sw is equal to 6 mm size of weld is equal to 6 mm determine the design strength of the joint okay now so if they are going to do the welding here if they are going to do the welding here okay what is the uh, strength of weld we are going to get it that we have to find out this is our first question second question if we are going to have the weld along with this red indication plus here also okay now that is the joint have here now here it is the gusset plate is going to so if the total all around the length if i am going to weld it what is the strength that we have to calculate so there are two question in this question in this uh, question okay so let us move on to the problem solution okay first of all uh, we know that 
strength of weld formula strength of weld that is pdw is equal to lw into uh, effective throat thickness te into fu by fu by, fu by root 3 into gamma m w okay now whereas te is equal to effective throat thickness so te is equal to effective throat thickness so that value we can get it uh, from the code book okay so in the code book they have mentioned the size of weld sorry here in the problem they have mentioned the size of weld if they have mentioned the size of weld we have to multiply with some factor so that we can see in the code book so here they have mentioned one word uh, if the effective throat thickness the effective throat thickness of a fillet weld shall not be less than 3 mm and shall generally not exceed 0.7 times of t okay now uh, so here the t is the thickness of the thinner plate of the elements being welded okay so that we are going to take okay so 0.5 times of t we are going to use so here t is nothing but size of weld we are going to use okay uh, so let us move on to the problem again okay uh, so k into s so k is nothing but 0.7 eh? s is nothing but 6 mm so so 0.7 into 6 how much Point seven into six. I am going to have four point two mm. Okay. Now L W for first two question we know that. So which is nothing but the red line, whatever we have indicated there. Okay. In the figure. So three hundred plus three hundred plus two fifty. So it becomes six hundred eight fifty mm. Okay. So if I am going to substitute this, what is the P D P D W? Okay. So eight fifty into Uh, so effective throat thickness is 4.2 into a uh, few 410. Okay, divided by root 3 and gamma m w 1.25. So if we are going to substitute these values, we are getting some 676.05 kilo newton. 676.05 kilo newton. So this is the value. if we are going to weld in the criteria here okay if i am going to weld here the value is becomes that is the plate under the setup this uh, truss okay now the time member has can be resist up to 6 uh, 676.05 kN okay the same thing if it is going to all around if if the weld is going to happen all around then what is the value that we are going to discuss now so before that uh, here lw the change is only in lw so in addition to the 250 we are having another 250 here okay so 250 now the total length of the weld becomes 110 sorry 1100 1100 mm so if i am going to substitute these values so what is the strength of the weld that we can get it okay so lw is 1100 multiplied with the te 4.2 into fu is 410 divided by root 3 into 1.25 So if we are going to substitute this eight seventy four point eight nine eight seventy four point eight nine kilo newton. So if I am going to weld additionally that two fifty mm, okay now the entire section is going to resist eight hundred and seventy five kilo newton approximately. So if I am going to weld 
only like in this profile okay now like uh, like this profile then i can this section can able to withstand only 676 so see the changes okay now around 200 kilo newton is going to resist more if i am going to do all around so this is the advantage of well dead connections so let us move on to the another problem so next problem so the given a time number 75 mm by 8 mm is to transmit is to transmit a factored load of 145 kilo newton 145 kilo newton load p they have given so design fillet wells and necessary overlaps the steel used the steel used is of grade fe410 assume gasset plate assume gasset plate to be 12 mm thick so this is the given data they have mentioned okay now so a time member has the plate of size 75 mm 8 by 8 mm and the gusset plate of size 12 mm thick they have used okay uh, and uh, factored load they have given design load they have given as 145 kilo newton uh, what they are asking means uh, design the fillet welded connections they, they have asked okay now let us move on to the solution okay first of all we want to know the size of weld okay size of weld we want to know so where we can calculate so there are two plates are available one is na joining plate another one is uh, gusset plate okay 8 mm and 12 mm based on this we can choose the size of weld so which is available in uh, is 800 so here in this table 21 they have mentioned the thickness of thicker part so there are two plates okay one is 8 mm another one is 12 mm so among them the thicker of thicker plates that is 10 to in between 10 to 20 mm that is the 12 mm is lies in between 10 to 20 mm so that the minimum size of weld we are going to choose 5 mm okay so from table 21 from table 21 of is from table 21 of is 800 2007 okay that uh, maximum thickness of thicker plate is equal to 12 mm so uh, for the minimum size 10 to 20 mm plate the size of weld is equal to 5 mm this is from table 21 okay now uh, let us move on to the problem so effective we all know that um, strength of weld
PTW is equal to LW effective throat thickness into FU divided by root 3 into gamma NW. Okay. So here uh, we need to calculate this overlapping. Okay. So, uh, the length of weld. So the load PW PTW we are going to take it as a 145 kilo newton. That is 145 into 10 cube newton. So effective throat thickness TE is equal to 0.7 times of size of weld. So we know that from the IS 800. Okay. So 0.7 into 5 becomes 0.7 into 5 becomes 3.5 mm. So 3.5 mm. Let us substitute this one, okay, into the above equation. 145 into 10 cube, which is equal to LW. We have to calculate TE with the effective throat thickness, which is 3.5 mm. FU is 410 divided by root 3 into gamma MW is 1.25 gamma mw is equal to 1.25 from table 5 of is 800 okay now what is the value of lw so 145 8 divided by 3.5 into 410 divided by root 3 1.25 so 218.76, nearly 220 mm we are getting. Okay, approximately 220 mm we are going to get it. So that 220 mm we can, that is here the, they have mentioned that the gusset plate. Okay, so the gusset plate will be available like this. Okay. Uh, the plate which is going to connect. So it have the breadth of 75 mm. Okay. So now uh, the length of W we can got 220 mm. So this 220 divided by 2. So we can get 110 mm. So this 110 mm at top. Okay as well as bottom of the plate we can make. So this is one variety, category one. Okay. So this is category one. So next category two. So what we are going to do now, uh, even we can do the weld here also. Okay. That is like a C shape. Okay. So how we are going to calculate, okay, that we can find out, uh, which means uh, this LW we are going to uh, calculate it again, okay. So now with respect to second criteria, like uh, here, here, and here we are going to do the welding okay so in this uh, we can know this height that is 75 mm we know that okay now but now the overlap what is the length that we have to find out what is the overlap length okay for the previous one they have given us that is, we found that 120 mm at top and bottom. If we are going to give, automatically the requirement is fulfilled. Okay, now. But in the second category, we are going to have all the three sides. Okay, now that is like a C shape. Now we have to calculate. The same 220 only we are going to have. Okay, now. But how the way we are going to distribute it. Okay, now that we have to. So overlap length, how we are going to calculate? That is 75 mm plus 2 into overlap 
is equal to 220 m so here So 220 minus 75 is equal to 2 into overlap. Therefore, overlap is equal to 220 minus 75 divided by 2. So 72.5. We can say 73 mm. So here 73 mm. And here 73 mm we can give. So that the total 220 mm gets fulfilled. So 73 plus 73 plus 75. So it is around 221 mm. Now the next category. Okay now that is all around. Okay. Uh, so all around means here this is gas plate. And this is our main blade. Okay, we know this breadth of the plate is equal to 75 mm. Okay, so all around means we are going to have our welding in all places. Okay, now we have to calculate this. So already we know that the length of weld requirement is equal to 220 m. Okay. So uh, we know that all around we are going to weld. So 75 plus 75 plus 2 into overlap is equal to 220 m. So therefore overlap is equal to 220 minus 75 minus 75 the whole divided by 2 so 1 220 minus 150 divided by 2 so around 35 mm so 75 here it is 35 mm and here it is 35 mm so by all together we can okay if instead of shop fabrication if we going for uh, field fabrication then the value of gamma mw will change so based on that the thing is going to get change okay so up to this the how to find the welded length the problem has been calculated thank you all